So how do we make decisions? There's actually steps to this. The decision-making model has five steps. The first one being identify the decision. Identifying what you're trying to decide upon. Now this can be very important because a lot of times we look at the decision as something that we're trying to justify for what we want and not what we're actually trying to accomplish. For example, when we're trying to buy a car, maybe our what we think is our decision is what car should we buy? But perhaps the actual decision that we're trying to make is what kind of reliable transportation can we get to get from point A to point B? Both of those have very different options and outcomes. So it's very important for the first one to you actually identify what decision you're trying to make. Second one would be to identify the alternatives. Now the alternatives are based on the decision. If I'm asking myself what kind of car do I need to buy, then my alternatives are going to be cars. If I say what type of transportation can I obtain to reliably get from point A to point B, well that now opens the door from cars to buses to bikes to walking, even skateboards or scooters. So that's the importance of understanding and identifying the decision because it opens the door for the alternatives. Three, we're going to identify the relevant costs and the relevant revenues. So how much are we going to save? Rele relevant. And how much is it going to cost us? Relevant. So again, we're talking about the relevant versus irrelevant or avoidable versus unavoidable. Four, we're going to identify the qualitative issues to consider. That's one that's usually forgotten a little bit because we're so focused on numbers that sometimes the qualitative side is just as important as the numbers. If you're looking at it from an environmental standpoint, then obviously a car is going to be worse than a bicycle. So these are qualities that you also have to consider outside of the financial side. And then finally, the fifth section is to identify the alternatives with the greatest benefit or the least cost. So this is in step five, we're actually making our decision.